Okay, this is my instructional video on how I record a song using my Tascam DP008AX digital 8-track recorder. Uh, first of all, we're going to have a very quick look at the equipment that I use to record the songs. Uh, all the drum sounds you hear are done with this Alesis SR16 drum machine. Uh, this one is it's about 25 years old. I bought it when they first came out way back then and it's had a heck of a lot of use in those years. Uh, but it's still going strong today. Uh, it was 229 British pounds sterling when I bought it. But, but all those years passed and they're actually down 100 pounds to 129. And I believe you can pick them up in, in the States for 149 US dollars. Uh, my bass guitar, it's a, it's a Squire. Squire P bass. I've actually changed the pickup from the stock pickup to a Wilkinson on Nico 5 pickup, which I think was a big improvement on the original. Uh, uh, my guitar amplifier is a Boss Katana 50. Uh, a lot of this, the, my uh, original songs, the, the early ones were done with a, a Boss ME 70, which I plugged directly into the Tascam. But if I just turn this round, you'll see there's a phone record output and I plug that in there plug a, a jack in there and direct it's connected directly to the task cam uh, my guitar is a Fender it's a Fender American Standard Stratocaster again worth noting that the bridge pickup has been changed to a DiMaggio chopper because I didn't think the stock pickup sounded that great with uh, the, the large amounts of gain and distortion I use on my tracks the, the Damaggio is a humbucker too and, and it's hum free. Uh, I do a couple of songs, Guitar Man and Spanish Holly, which uses clean sounds. And I use this uh, Fender Stock, the Stock Fender Fat 50 for those. Uh, my mic setup is, the microphone is an AKG D5. It goes into an Art Tube MP preamp. Uh, which goes then into a Boss NS2 noise suppressor. It's only a guitar noise suppressor, but it works. It works fine with the with the microphone. Uh, you can plug a microphone directly into the Tascam, but you will get a certain amount of hiss. Whereas if you can uh, connect into a noise suppressor, it's totally silent apart from when you're singing. So on to recording a song. Uh, first up, we need to create. A song so we press menu song create and we're going to put a name to the song so this song is called do you wrong so we'll just put that in We'll call it do you wr1 and execute and back so we're going to assign each channel to input a you have a choice of input a or input b uh, so we press a sign and as you can see ABAB so we press that now we want to get in the, the input so I'm going to do it's already been selected for an external, the external input, low. You can go mid, high, internal, that's the internal mics, high, low. 
But let's say, for my purposes, external line low. And exit. So that's a setup to record. Uh, I'm going to select the drums on channel one. So we press and you'll see the red light flashing. I'm going to record, I have a drum track already programmed into the drum machine with a click to start. So I'm going to adjust the trim with it adjust the level. Just going to take it up a little bit. And that's just ready to record the first track. So press punch and play simultaneously. It should. No, that's it. Ready to go. So that's the drum track recorded. Second track I'm going to go into, it's going to be bass guitar into track two. So I'm going to press that. Now with bass, I like to add compression. Uh, the only compression I would use is for the bass and for vocals too. So I'll show you how to turn the compression on for bass. Press input setting, EQ Dyn or DYN. So DYN is short for Dyna Compression. Press it. We're going to turn it on and select the electric bass preset. Press back. That's just ready to go. So I've gone ahead and I've recorded the whole sound. <laughs> we could have been here for hours if you'd have been watching me doing the whole thing. So I've got drums in track one, bass track two, rhythm guitar track three, second rhythm guitar track four, lead guitar track five, lead vocal track seven, backing vocal track eight. Okay, so now we're going to mix down the track. Before we do that, we're going to have to set an in and out point on the track to compress it into the right size. So I'm going to do that now. So that's my in place. We'll go to the end of the track then to, to put the out point. It's coming up about now. That's the outset. So exit and we're going to go into mix down. So bounce mix down mastering. Execute mix down. And we're ready we're ready to mix. So I'm just going to adjust the volumes and the panning. 
The Romans have kept it full up. Upon a slightly left bass guitar, right. The first rhythm is fully panned left. Second is fully panned right. The lead guitar is center. Track six is blank. And the two vocal tracks are panned center too. I'll add reverb at this stage as you can see. The drums have got a fair amount of reverb and the two vocal tracks too. It's just a preset reverb. You can adjust. There's many reverb and delay settings in the task cam, but for convenience, I just prefer to use the preset. As you can see, you can change the level here, but I like to keep mine fairly high up. We want the levels when we start mixing down being nearly the top, but not too high because it'll distort. Uh, that's to give the, the final track a good level and if you do want to upload onto YouTube not make the, the track too quiet. To this stage I shall also add EQ. So we press this button and you see the EQ you can turn on and off. Uh, track 1 is drums the 5.0 kilohertz that's treble you can adjust that but again I like to leave the preset and the 350 Hertz is bass as you can see I've, I've boosted the, the treble by 2.5 dB and the bass by 2 point, by 6.5 dB if we go across the bass guitar has been boosted same thing 1.5 dB and the bass 6.5 dB the only other thing I, I boost is the vocals. As you can see the lead track, lead vocal track, the treble's been boosted 4.5 but I've actually taken 2 dB of the bass and the same with the, the backing vocal. So that's it ready to go I do believe yes. So we we'll start the mix down. So that's the track mixed down. Final step, well second from last, but the final step in the making of the track is the mastering. So we go into master, mastering, execute. You have a choice of manual or auto mastering. Again, manual, there's infinite uh, settings on this. But again, for convenience, I prefer to use auto. Press auto. You have a choice of two types. Natural, which is a light compression, or maximum sound, which is a heavy compression with was with boost bass, treble, mid. Uh, gives you a little bit more volume on the track. Being classic rock, I I like to use that setting. You can rehearse the, the sound just to hear what it will sound like. But I'm happy enough, so I'm now going to execute and we're going to master the track. That's the mastering done. Final step is to create an export master. So you can send it to your computer in, in WAV WAV form. So, we press menu, import export, and export master. We'll give it a name, once again, it'll do you wrong.
and execute. And it's storing the song onto the task cam. It'll take the length of the actual song, which is about three and a half minutes. When that's done, it's just a matter of connecting a lead from the task cam into your computer and uploading it. So that's the end of my tutorial. I uh, hope it's been helpful and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.